KC Water is committed to ensuring the highest quality work and service to Kansas City. We are excited to welcome you to KC Water's Green Infrastructure Monitoring Training Session to prepare you to be a valuable member of the KC Water team. This training video is a comprehensive guide to use the modified Philip Dunn MPD infiltrometer. The MPD infiltrometer is used to measure the infiltration rate of soil. KC Water is deploying this testing in green infrastructure practices that rely on infiltration rate to function. Examples of these green infrastructure practices include rain gardens, bioretention, and bioswales. This testing method automates field water level measurements and calculation of saturated hydraulic conductivity, KSAT, of NC2 soils per ASTM standard D8152. Today, we'll take you step by step through the standard operating procedure for the MPD infiltrometer. We'll go over equipment needed. Step one, initial moisture reading. Step two, equipment setup. Step three, connect GPS to tablet. Step four, conducting a test. Step five, upload test results. Let's get started. Equipment needed. The modified Philip Dunn infiltrometer kit contains the following. Three graduated cylinders, three MPD heads, three anti-scour devices with rubber seals, a tablet with the MPD app installed, a wooden set and mallet, glass tubes, a moisture meter, a portable charger, a GPS unit, and a towel. To perform the MPD test, you must also utilize the following personal protective equipment or PPE, safety vest, and gloves while driving cylinder into ground. Step one, take the initial moisture reading. To begin, you will take an initial moisture reading of the soil in the location where the test is to be conducted using the moisture meter. It may be necessary to brush aside the top layer of mulch or other surface debris to provide direct access to underlying soil for testing. Slowly push the moisture probe into the ground at least 5 centimeters. Wait 20 seconds before reading the gauge. The gauge is in 10% increments indicated by a number ranging from 0 to 10. Multiply the reading by 10 to determine the saturation percentage and round up to the nearest 10%. Record the measured moisture percentage, which will be input into the tablet during test setup in Step 2. Step 2. Equipment Setup Install the testing equipment. On the MPD head, push the black hose end of the glass tube through the battery cover and secure it on the barb. Drop the anti-scour device into the cylinder. Make sure that it is level with the metal base and that the rubber seal is seated firmly on top. Using the wooden set and mallet, pound the graduated cylinder into a flat area in the ground in approximately the same location that the moisture reading was taken. The steel base must be driven five centimeters or approximately two inches into the ground. Take care to make sure that the cylinder is not loose and a tight seal is formed with the soil. Step three, connect GPS to tablet. Press and hold the top button on the left side of the tablet to power on. Press and hold the power button on the GPS unit to power on. If an alternative GPS unit is being used, power it on and turn on Bluetooth. On the tablet, touch the middle top of the screen and slide down to produce the tablet menu and turn on Bluetooth. A menu will appear. If using the GPS unit that was included in the MPD infiltrometer kit, select Garmin Glow. If an alternative GPS unit is being used, select that device instead. Touch the Bluetooth GPS icon near the bottom of the tablet. An app will appear displaying the paired GPS unit. Make sure that the box next to Enable Mock GPS Provider is checked, then touch the Connect button. On the GPS unit included in the MPD infiltrometer kit, success is indicated when the blue light is solid. GPS coordinates are recorded only at the time a test is started. Make sure that the GPS unit is near the MPD infiltrometer at this time. 
Once the tablet is paired with the GPS unit, future use will only require the following steps. Turn on the GPS unit. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Launch the Bluetooth GPS app. Press the connect button in the app. Step four, conducting a test. Make sure that the GPS unit is on, paired, and near the MPD infiltrometer. Launch the MPD app on the tablet. Select the soil tab at the bottom of the app. This selection determines the time interval between test readings. Select the sand and gravel option in order to set the measurement interval to five seconds. Touch the MPD tab at the bottom of the app. To turn on the MPD head, press and hold the button on the top of the head until the red and green lights turn on. Two green flashes indicate that the head is on. Three green flashes indicate that a test is running. One red flash indicates that a data point has been measured. When the MPD head is turned on, a green bar displaying MPD ID and status will appear on the app. Tap the green bar and a dialog box will appear. If prompted for the soil time interval, select five seconds, sand and gravel. Enter the initial moisture reading taken in step one and the test name. Do not begin the test yet. Fill the cylinder with water to a minimum of 30 centimeters, approximately 12 inches. Place the MPD head and hose in and on the cylinder. Select Submit and Begin Test on the tablet. The bar on the app will now appear orange, indicating that a test is running. The MPD head will measure the water head drop over time and automatically record data. Allow the cylinder to drain completely before finalizing the test. The test will typically take 45 minutes to an hour, depending on soil conditions. For slow draining soils, such as clayey soils, the test may last up to four hours using the selected measurement interval of five seconds. When the cylinder has drained, tap the orange bar in the app. A dialog box will appear. Set the tablet aside, remove the MPD head, and set it aside, then remove the cylinder from the ground. Take a final moisture reading in the same location as before. On the tablet, enter the final moisture reading and then tap Finalize Test. At this point, all data will transfer from the MPD head and will be stored on the tablet under the Files tab on the app. A new test can now be conducted. Step 5. Upload Test Results Touch the Files tab. Active files and uploaded files are separated between two screens with tabs at the top to go between screens. On the Active Files section of the Files tab, select the files to be uploaded and tap the Upload Selected button. When a file has been uploaded, it will move from Active Files to Uploaded Files. Once uploaded, files are stored on the upstream server and do not have to be kept on the tablet. Rinse equipment of dirt and sediment after testing, except for the GPS head. To clean the GPS head, wipe with a damp towel, but do not directly rinse. Do not leave a wet towel in the kit when storing. Training Overview This concludes the training of the modified Philip Dunn MPD infiltrometer. Today you learn how to perform a modified Philip Dunn MPD infiltrometer test, including the equipment and steps required. Thank you for taking the time to participate in this training. You play a critical role in ensuring that KC Water remains committed to sustainability, safety, and quality service.